So we're going to start by reading this book, Ilyas and Duck, Ramadan Joy. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ilyas and Duck stood at the edge of town, patiently watching in the setting sun. Then the moon appeared and Ilyas said with cheer, Look, Duck, up there. I see the crescent moon. And just like that, the month of Ramadan had begun. Did anyone go and try and find the Ramadan moon? Yeah. Who found it? You guys have excellent eyes if you did. I missed it this year. But I saw it the, the, the second and third day. Did you guys see it? It was beautiful. MashaAllah. Okay. The joy of Ramadan spread quickly through town with festive decorations and lanterns abound. The smell of treats spilled into the streets as the baker prepared suhoor, the last meal before the daytime fast that is so important to eat. What did that teach us? What was a very important thing that it taught us? Well, who, do you know? Good. Suhoor, which is the meal we eat early in the morning, is very important. And it's a very good sunnah for us to do. So that's why we wake up really early and we try to eat. Then morning came and the sun was out. Duck, wait, Ilyas had to shout. The sun is still up. Let's not forget. Don't break your fast, at least not yet. When can I eat? When the sun sets. Can I have something to drink? Not quite yet. No food? No drink? Not even a sip or crumb? Oh, this is hard. What's the point? Where's the fun? <laughs> Elias thinks that fasting is going to be hard. Well, inshallah, one day you will be big enough. Fasting is not meant to be easy. It can leave your belly empty and grumbling inside. But know this feeling is just Allah's way of feeding goodness to your body and mind. Goodness like compassion, to care for the less fortunate, empathy, to feel the hunger they often do, gratitude, to appreciate all the blessings you have, and a reminder of just how fragile you are, and that it's Allah who provides for you. Can you see that? <laughs> Elias looks silly at the bottom of the page. He looks hungry. <laughs> hmm. Fasting is a chance to nourish your soul, your relationship with Allah and your community too. It's a chance to practice self-discipline and restraint and build confidence in all that you do. Oh, and so... The hours in the day, ooh, did I show you guys that page? Mm -hmm. The hours in the day slowly ticked away. Sound away, ring, sounded the bells on the alarm clock. The sun has set its time for iftar. Good. Do you guys know what iftar means? Exactly. You break your fast. Do you want to add something? He does. He's very excited to break his fast. Or maybe he's just really excited that he made it all day without eating. They broke their fast with just a few dates, drank water, prayed, 
and then they ate. They met, fam they met friends and family all around town, and all around town, not a frown could be found. That is, until they reached the other end of town. <laughs> because at the other end of town, on top of a hill, lived a man who was rarely ever seen. No one ever really knew who he was, and no one knew his real name, but they all did know him as... Menacing Mr. Mean. Oh, I'm not fond of this month, Ramadan. For 30 days, the kids are so well behaved. For 30 days, all their bad deeds are gone. Everyone is so kind, they give charity and stuff. How will I ever stand all this goodness for 30 long days? I know, I will spoil Ramadan. I've had enough. <sighs> that menacing Mr. Mean is a troublemaker. I will cover entire neighborhoods with my menacing spray so kids may continue to play even when it's time to pray. <gasps> I will bake mouth-watering cookies and place them all around so kids are tempted to break their fast even before the sun goes down. You can't eat fried food in Ramadan. <laughs> it is better if we don't. <laughs> we'll have more energy. I will spread rumors to go encourage gossip and hope kids make promises they cannot keep. Yes, this is how I spoil Ramadan and make it what it's not meant to be. I'm not nice, that menacing Mr. Mean. Oh no, exclaimed Elias. Mr. Mean is up to no good. Follow me, we must save the neighborhood. Brave Elias and Duck going to help their community. They're so nice. They are. Mr. Mean is so bad. They are good choices. Stop right there, Mr. Mean. It's Sheriff Elias uh, uh, and Deputy Duck. We heard what you're up to. Your time is up. You will never catch me. Hmm, where can he be? He, he, he. I think he got away. <laughs> you see him. You should help them. You see him too? You think that's a good hiding spot? <laughs> Mr. Mean got away, but it's a good thing he's gone. Because there's no room for meanness, only goodness in Ramadan. And when a good deed is done, the reward for it is multiplied. Not just once or twice, not three times nor four, but many, 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 many times more. Because yeah. in Ramadan, a good deed, we get more than just one time. We get it many, 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 many times more. <laughs> As the days of Ramadan passed one by one, each day's fast helped to improve everyone. There was incre increased patience, better health, and important habits that were quite clear. Indeed, each day was a chance to practice all these things and carry better habits throughout the rest of the year. You see, they got, it's like they got badges. They got special cards showing all the good things that they learned that they improved on in Ramadan. Okay, and what they? They call it the Ramadan Roundup cards. Yeah. So for the remainder of the month in the last 10 days, 
Elias and Duck looked forward to the rising sun. While they were thankful for the joy from the Ramadan days that passed, they were especially excited for all the blessings to come. Ramadan Mubarak and have a blessed day.